San Francisco's public transportation, especially their train public transportation, is like mad nasty, right? You know, I mean, you just straight up have people using the San Francisco Bay Area rapid transit as like a massive urinal pit. It just pee everywhere. And then when you get out of the station, you just have people straight up pulling out knives and all sorts of different weapons. Not to mention there's tents everywhere in the city. I mean, this city is completely doomed. When it just looks like this constantly all the time, you know, urinal in the train. I mean, people using the train to do crack. People use the train to do fentanyl. I mean, this is absolutely crazy, guys. Only in San Francisco do you see this sort of stuff. I mean, if you go to like the Shanghai Metro Station, the Tokyo Metro Station, the Singapore Metro Station, you would not ever see anything like this. I mean, San Francisco's Metro Station is absolutely freaky. Anything can happen. And honestly, if I'm riding in one of these trains, I'll be pretty scared for myself as well. If you check it out, the Bay Area Rapid Transit faces a massive financial fiasco. Ridership is down so much, okay? It's only like half of what it was as before. And what's going on is a bunch of people are no longer coming to San Francisco for work. Because if you look at the line for BART, a lot of people usually get dropped off on Montgomery Station. This is by far one of the most popular stations because the moment you walk out, you got all sorts of different skyscrapers and you walk a few blocks, you get to, of course, the Millennium Tower, the tower that's tilting. And also you eventually get to like the Salesforce Tower and this is when you actually start working and stuff like that. But check this out. If you just drop your little guy here on San Francisco, this is where all of your massive apartment complexes, all your massive glass towers and offices are. This is where these office workers will be working. But San Francisco, surprise, surprise, is down 150 to 200,000 office workers. That means you have almost 200,000 people that are no longer coming to San Francisco. And no wonder the San Francisco you know, transportation industry is down so much. It just looks like this all the time. And yeah, you know, people are like, but people are riding the trains again. Not really, right? Yeah, you got like a couple of people riding, but hundreds of people are leaving the city in droves. In fact, a lot of companies are encouraging remote work. Not only does remote work save lives at this point, but it also prevents the companies from spending too much on commercial real estate. It's so bad in San Francisco. Did you know that the Nancy Pelosi building, the federal building in San Francisco, recently told employees to just work at home? Don't even come back to the offices because it's a giant you know, fentanyl pit at this point. And the city isn't doing anything. Oh, the federal building is not allowing people to work inside their offices because the streets are too dangerous? What's the city going to do? Absolutely nothing. And this is why so many people are leaving, right? You even have meme stuff like funeral procession held for BART. And you also have the transportation industry already cutting millions of dollars from the area. Not that anyone's riding it, but it's already slowly collapsing, not because of like vandalism or people peeing on the floor, but it's mostly because nobody's really riding these trains. If you look at this, like I said before, a lot of these federal buildings are over random crime. San Francisco is completely done. You know, there's theft, there are robberies everywhere. I mean, why would you ever go to San Francisco? This is such a failed city. I get it, guys. There's robberies, there's theft everywhere. But when you have robberies and theft, but the city doesn't care, it's a whole different story. I mean, I would rather live in like Chicago than live in San Francisco. At least Chicago has some good areas, where San Francisco doesn't have a single good area. It's getting worse, all sorts of different shenanigans, crazy stuff. I mean, I don't want to get taxed by San Francisco. They're using their money for basically nothing at this point. And it just looks like a post-apocalyptic town every single day. This is the craziest city. Don't even bother visiting. It's just terrible.